Five-color control deck with Narset and it was something else earlier, huh? What if I back one, pick one, and Dreadhorde, and then draft every pump spell I see? What if I did that? Yeah, let's find out. Yeah, this one... We'll see how long the draft takes. Well, this one might be my last draft of the evening. I mean, Dreadhorde does work with Reanimate. Wasn't exactly what I was thinking. It's kind of cool with Noble Hierarch. Noble Hierarch was more what I was thinking. This pack sets you up for red-black pretty well, though. You take Reanimate here, Will the Blood Tithe. And then you're flashing back, like, discard spells and such. We'll see. Yeah, Thoughtseize. I think red-black and Historic does this with Dreadhorde Arcanist. Just plays a bunch of discard and value cards and stuff. We get a Proving Ground. Maybe Magda. Maybe Sleeper. Sleeper's fine. Not in love with this pack. So Bone Shards is a great way to get a creature in the graveyard to reanimate. Well, what about this Berserk card? <laughs> That's what I was originally planning on. We have not been seeing... Yeah, I might be ditching the Dreadhorde Arcanist here. Take Mystical Tutor. Play more typical reanimation game. Because this is, like, pretty open blue-wise. Grist is probably the best card here. Domain Dancers and Corpse Dance could work. Because of is in the cube, yeah. Uh, Waker of Waves is a value bin for reanimator. You can just like bin it, draw a card, and then reanimate it, beat down. I guess I'll let the red cards chill over here. Just in case. Just in case the best mana base of all time drops into my lap unexpectedly. The Voidwalker's criminally late. It is. It really is. Someone arrest that Voidwalker for not being on time! I'm late. I'm late. You think Voidwalker follows the White Rabbit? Uh... I, <laughs> I guess. I love it. Two, four, seven. Thanks for 44 months. Do I have any Bob Dylan takes? I, I do not. I like Dylan, but if anything, there's too many Bob Dylan takes. Man has been over discussed. Hmm. I feel like I haven't been blue black reanimator in a bit. I'm excited to see if this Waker of Waves performs. Can Astral Dragon copy like an enemy dead? Yeah, it can. It won't do anything. Hello. Yeah, not much of a Mana Crypt deck, huh? Not much of a Mana Crypt deck at all. The Chromox would be a lot better. I think we're just going to take Jace here, though. Or maybe the Water Grave. Yeah, beautiful Jace deck, huh? And he says that they didn't get the trigger or the dragons. I don't know if that's how it's supposed to work. The anime deads? Yeah, I'm pretty sure they come into play and then instantly die. So you just, like, never see them. Are there auras? I don't, I don't think auras can just, like, be in play as creatures or whatever. I don't think that works in the magic rules. They need to be, like, lissids, right? And swap back and forth. Is there, is there a decision point? More um, more frustrating than choosing between good mana and a card that your deck needs. I'm happy that we got the Atraxa, though. That's exciting. Not a bad Dark Ritual deck. I 
Emrakul does work with Corpse Dance. It's a thought. This fairy thing might just be fine here, though. Yeah, just in case we get Shallow Grave. Or Show and Tell and want to Emrakul some people. Now there are more of them. Does Inverter have a combo in the cube? Yeah, that's his Oracle. Don't love this. I've had Arc Fiend be like okay in Reanimator. Really dislike uh, Talismans in Reanimator. It's just like not good with our curve. This is the bulk of our curve right now. We do have some Madness outlets for the Shadow Grange too. We Strix in here. Well, yeah, let's Strix it up. Solid card. Or blue black anyway. We built some blue black fixing um, the other draft. I wonder if it can happen again. Water grave into underground seam. If we're the only people in blue black, it could happen. A lot of times people. Oh, there's a tar pit. A lot of times people uh, snap up random pieces of fixing with the thought that they might splash something. But black's been super open. And blue's bit felt more open than usual. Mm, just to cut down, I guess. Or a lantern for the mirror. Yeah, you got it, Heatencock. You figured it out. So I would pay 13 life to reanimate the Samurai sometimes. Where's the 10 minute Eldrazi? See, Annihilation 6 for the Samurai Eldrazi are not exactly the easy to re easiest to reanimate, right? And so it's not something that you're really looking to do when you dip into reanimator, but once, um, once you already have one instant speed reanimation spell, and six is so good, right? Annihilator six is so good. Then you can start thinking about it. But the other Eldrazi, like Annihilator 10 or whatnot, way less likely to eat all your opponent's permanents, way less likely to do the trick once you're going discard outlet plus corpse stance, right? Hmm. A little filtering. Well, we're doing reasonably on playables. We did lose Water Grave and Underground Sea that that pack, which is pretty brutal. Gross, huh? I think this Mox is worse than a basic land in this deck. I think I'd rather have like a Miscalc or a Damnation for the sideboard. Maybe even Ledger Shredder. Hey, Demonic Tutor. Finally some fixing. Well, that's not bad, that's not a bad one. I've had Souls of the Lost be a solid discard outlet. I think I'm gonna grab Toxic here though. I'm out of water. Hmm. Maybe I can grab some right now. I'll be real fast. Just a sip. Wow, I missed uh I missed literally nothing, huh? Just chilling, waiting for the next pack. Oh really sound of Muzak? That's wild. Yo oldie but a goodie, huh? Visual audio, sensory theater. Vast. Um, well, we don't have, uh, Water Graves and Underground Seas for this troll, but it's still good. We're kind of short on, uh, ways to reanimate things, right? We have Corpse Dance and Reanimate right now. I think the Recurring Nightmare is actually kind of important. We have, like, the Ophiomancer and Master that play well with it. These looters play pretty well with it. Strix could, like, be cycled for value. Yeah, bummer to pass the troll, but Recurring Nightmare is a real nice pickup. Even impressed by Fair Master of Death. Yeah, I've liked Master of Death in both ways. Like, discarding it to survival, and I've also liked it. Just like playing it, trading, rebuying, playing it, trading. You get a lot of value out of it. Like, I was impressed with Master of Death in Legacy. So, hey, Undercity Sewers. Frantic Search, also great in Reanimator, of course, but... That's helpful. Don't Love comes to play Taplands. That one can at least, like, you know, bin something in our reanimator deck. 
A little bit of selection. You look forward to whale whaling people out. Yeah, right? The double whale. I'm excited to actually play this card in Reanimator. I think it's going to be sweet here. The value bin. Oh, Ponder Wield. Also, what did I take over Animate Dead? What the fuck was I thinking? Oh, I didn't see Ponder earlier. I saw Preordain. I never saw this pack. That's what. Well, I'm still taking Animate Dead. <laughs> Emrakul cool looking worse and worse, huh? Possible we even cut the Corpse Dance. Preonder. Yeah, they're basically the same card, huh? I wonder if the Ponder being in that pack means there's a chance I get a, <laughs> a Preordain Wheel. Hello in Tomb. We are taking it over show and tell, but that's totally fine. Now we've got the nut, right? The Dark Ritual in Tomb Anime Dead. Turn one attracts or Archon or something. I always cut these. Hmm. That troll, though. That troll, though. I think the troll can tutor for sewers, too. Too bad we don't have any, like, brainstorm effects or, um, or vamp tutor, right? <laughs> to let under sewers be a. <laughs> be an entomb. I think this deck could get away with playing 16 mana sources instead of 17. Because our curve is so tight, right? Like, this is basically the curve here. And there's a lot of, like, cantrip and stuff going on here. Solid chance of flooding out. But we also have some loot, loot effects and stuff. And I don't really know how I would main deck in that last slot. I'm just going to jam this. Bloom. Get an extra colored mana source in there, too. So this would be like 8 blue. Counting the troll. 12 black. I think 12 black's enough. And then I'm going to be gone uh, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. For the... Um, Gaming convention in uh, Milwaukee. Oh, man. If we'd been on the play, the sewers would have gotten to bin this. That would have been so sick. Next turn, we can lead on Ledger Shredder and then go Dark Ritual, get a loot... And then Recurring Nightmare or Animate Dead at Bank. If they answer my Jace here. And then um, there'll be two more days of Cube when I get back. When I get back on Monday. Monday's actually my birthday. I'm going to be turning 36. Should be a sweet stream. And I'll try and make sure those last couple of days are nice and medium. I think it's patches. 36 years of streaming? No, 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 no. I like bone shards. Just like kill the broadside here. Broadside's pretty fucked up. And then I like Ophiomancer with the recurring nightmare in my hand, so I'll grab that one.
Next turn we can literally like Entomb for Archon and then Nightmare and back, I guess. Seems hard for a red aggro deck to beat, Tom. Um... The matchup seems not the best for our opponent. Um, I mean, yeah, Red Aggro in general doesn't want to see Reanimator, but um, they can still like deal enough damage that Reanimate gets bricked early on. Sometimes you can like kill the blocker by combining Burn. Sometimes Soul Scar Mage can shrink it. Sometimes they just like have a bunch of graveyard hate, right? Because they like realized that it was a rough, rough matchup and decided to board a bunch. Sometimes they nut draw you. There's, there's you know. Sometimes you draw your Archon, <laughs> and your Entomb looks a lot worse. <laughs> Best draw here is a Dark Ritual, so we get Entomb and Anime Dead in the same turn. Yeah, I think that's enough of a reason to not Entomb on upkeep. It's yeah, just passing here, right? That's a pretty fucked up board, if and I do say so myself. Oh, they're a Dreadward Arcanist tank. That's fun. Yeah, I'm a little bit worried about Menacers plus Burn just killing me. I shouldn't have played my land. I could have hit a swamp and then be able to play the, the Evolved Sleeper and double block to Menace. Fuck. Well, <laughs> hopefully that doesn't lose me this fucking game. <laughs> oh, yeah, pile of swamps. Perfect. God, there's a Bone Shard. I could have grabbed Swamp Bone Shards and just answered Gut here. Right here and now. That's all right, this way we have mana for Swamp Cycling. That's pretty important, right? So that area, the opponent only needs three points of burn, which seems very doable, right? Without that error, they would need, you know, seven. The Ravager does have to attack. Oh, but then they sack it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, without the... If we'd killed the gut, then this wouldn't have worked out because they wouldn't have had a sack outlet for the Ravager and it would have had to march into a Traxxas. It has to attack each turn, the Ravager. What a punt, huh? Playing that land before, uh, before I put the enemy dead for no reason. Mmm, this tucked that game away. Still, a good example of, like, how explosive the mono-red deck can be. Not a lot of margins. Sure, it happened because of a, we lost because of a punt, but, like, you'd also just lose because you don't have it turn two. Like, this hand doesn't fucking have it, you know? And then you gotta think, do you keep this? Because you can go turn one Thoughtseize, turn two Strix. Kill something with Bone Shards. Is that even good? I don't want a mole. Like, the, the Toxic is good, but all this shit pays life. I'd, I'd much rather reanimate something, right? This hand doesn't reanimate anything. Perfect. I don't know if we get a Traxxas or Archon. Turn two. I'll go Archon. A 
Trax is a little harder to burn. I kind of like getting the Archon when they have exactly one creature down, though. It's pretty brutal. Uh, I'll be right back. Are these burritos? This is um kind of a funny curve, right? Turn two Jays, turn three loot, play Madness. You hope I brought enough burritos for the whole chat? No! No, you can't have them! They're mine! <laughs> My precious. Dabu, <clears throat> if we um, turn two the Waker of Waves and then turn three Animate Dead It, it's like not faster than Mystical Looking for Entomb here. And we for Mystical for Entomb, we get like, you know, just a way fucking, just a, mu a much better card, right? I think it makes sense to me. And then we have Edict Protection. God, I just hoovered that fucking burrito down. Just gone. Gone like nothing. I was starting to get hungry, though. That was perfect timing. The first burrito Skittles. This is the second one. I could see Ulamog winning this race. Like, if they play a removal spell and a reanimation effect here, I think they get to win. <laughs> Just a corpse stance isn't quite as exciting. Because <clears throat> they're only milling 20 cards here. Life is good, folks. Life is good. I think I could do well in an eating competition. <clears throat> so long as the right, it was the right kind of eating competition. Eating competitions are always for like, I don't know, plain hot dogs or something. Give me some Taco Bell burritos. Oh wait, never mind. I'm full. Just kidding. <laughs> Taco Bell gives you the super shits. The super shits! Mm. Mm. Is that like a whole squad, a whole team of minor superheroes? Little dogs, the super shits use. They get a wheel over there. Wheel puts them in a really good spot. Because they use the Bowmaster to clear off the Atraxa. I kind of wish I had my Toxic Deluge Bank. 
wouldn't wield his deck mean? Oh, because I only have two cards left. Yeah, I suppose. If you want to get all technical, I suppose that does win. Yeah, I regret milling the uh, the Toxic Deluge. That was poor. Some poor self-milling here <laughs> after taking all that deck damage from the 10-drop. A buttload of pomegranate. How much is a buttload of pomegranate? Wouldn't that be like a single pomegranate? I guess it depends on the butt. Also, does it matter if the pomegranate's frozen? Seems like it would matter. A single one if you're a coward. Oh no! They had Shadow Grange to kill my Traxa. I click through it. Do they just have a reanimation spell for it? Yeah, that'll do him. Hmm. They gain some life back. I think, yeah, I think they just win some. If we had uh, kept the toxic, like they wouldn't have had all that shit, which means they wouldn't have had the madness outlet. They wouldn't have had the discard outlet for the sh shadow range. All the regrets. And now activating Jace puts me to zero cards in the library. Not loving my odds here. Mm. That matches what happens. When you focus too much on the Hoover, burrito hoovering, and you don't pay attention. I do feel much better though. I think you can keep the same with the Mystical Tutor. I think the opponent's gonna be a little bit more careful with their, um, their stuff than I'm just gonna like turn one bin. A fatty here. I think I'm just gonna run out Shredder on two. Ooh, maybe that one's better. Sure. I almost like Archon more. Grinding through the Bitter Blossom. Trax has a higher chance of just like setting up the, the next reanimation though. Voidwalker is interesting. The Tali in the graveyard's a little scary. Their corpse dancing. They got a dark ritual and a blood tithe harvest aim. Looks like one of my Atali's. I guess we'll see what they do with this dark ritual, huh? Nice bone shards. Really hoping for a land here, so I can toxic plus 
Reanimate. Oh, I can't reanimate. I don't have the fucking life. That's okay. I'm going to toxic their board here, and then hopefully next turn we were put on tap land, get to monitor to free enemy dead on the Archon. Hopefully we won't be fucking dead. It's a nice corpse dance. Nice corpse dance in the end. Dark Ritual, hitting the Dark Ritual was pretty necessary, right? Because that, that let them play the Bone Shards. If they don't Bone Shards the Archon, they were in a pretty good spot, I think. Instead of a fucking terrible one. We could have down ticked on Dark Ritual and demonic and demonic tutor for animate dead. Maybe that's better. The issue with this line is it leaves the Archon in my graveyard, so the opponent could potentially necromancy it, right? If they had one. Recurring nightmare. Okay. I think I like the Dark Ritual line still and get the Voidwalker down. So they sack the Orc Army, but then the Boatmaster will trigger from the draw and they'll get the replacement Orc Army. Kind of annoying. Yeah, Lightning Burrito. I said I was going to do that, right? Before I took my turn. Hmm. Chase might cash in on the, the Toxic here. Pile Life go down to four. So the Archon attacks clean. Yeah, Bowmasters is fucked up, huh? Oh, they're toxicking for six. At least their shit got exiled from the Dothy. We could actually flashback reanimate on the Dothy. Maybe that's good. What's that? Five. We have Tar Pit here. Attacking puts them to one from Bitter Blossom. They'd have one turn. We can also flashback animate dead. Or, I'm sorry, not animate dead. We can flashback Demonic Tutor. But our only reanimation spells are reanimate. Anime Dead and Recurring Nightmare. And Demonic Tutor for Recurring Nightmare doesn't quite do it. Just gonna take my time here. Give it a sec. We've got options, right? I kinda like Thoughtseize. Thoughtseize and then tarp it in. They would have to like rip their way to kill me. Because they lose one from Bitter Blossom, which puts them to one, and then the next turn Bitter Blossom just kills them. I think I will. I think I will Thoughtseize first. I guess I just made Bombardier's lethal top deck, huh? It would have only been able to deal four damage before. <laughs> Well, they might draw an answer, Night Sar. They might draw an answer to the Tar Pit, right? Is the reason to serve with Tar Pit here? Yeah, exactly, to boom. I see what you did there, basic lands. I see what you did. Scrapbook Mutt. Can come back for haste. Well, that's two damage. Bring back Mutt, discarding a Lava Dart would be hilarious. <laughs> The most ramshackle win. Sweet. Game three. I'm getting so fucking sick of that orc. I might bring in dreams. Not a lot that's cuttable here. Maybe, maybe whale. Whale's one of my only ways of getting rid of a resolved thing, though. Oh, it's got sleeper. Uh, 
I don't know. I feel like this opener, <clears throat> it's nice that we have our hate for the reanimation. I feel like we just lose to them, you know, playing some beatdown creators because we don't do anything. Our hand needs to do something. This is definitely a matchup where we need to do stuff. The Saints is missing a an entomb or a, a discard outlet tom. And next got some filtering, some tutors, and worst case scenario, we're gonna have Strix on too. And it's like not the worst turn too, right? Put on took a mold of five. Also mulling aggressively. And two off the top. Nah, damn. That would have been the nuts, right? Because you turn one dark ritual into him, anime dead, and just have it. One lander. Demonic Tutor, does that work? I think it's a mana short, right? I guess if you detutor here, then you don't have to bring the Dark Ritual next turn, or you just have like two more mana to work with next turn. God damn it. I guess if I had detutored for Entomb, I could have upkeep Entombed. I guess I want Thoughtseize. I was a little bit worried about Dark Ritual Necromancy from them. I think they thought I was thought seizing them. Slow down. Slow down. <clears throat> See, Entomb's not amazing. I think I still want it over Mental Note though. Although I could play Mental Note here. That's kind of cool. Could have been Troll. Hopefully, Mansu is sweet with a recurring nightmare. Yeah, let's grab Entomb. And then just Troll. D's turn. Yeah, not the worst, huh? Not the worst. Mastrix. So the bone shards is a real clean way of bidding Archon, but I don't actually want to sack things. I might just run out recurring nightmare and pass here. I don't like leaving a uh, Traxxer or Archon in my bin, is uh, is the thought. So next turn I can animate the Tar Pit, then second rebuy Archon on the same turn. Recurring Nightmare is also very safe in play, right? Against Black Red, more safe in play than in my hand. Toxic for one, could have Toxic for one. I think this is better. Just set up the Archon, set up something robust. Fine, I'll toxic. God damn it. Why did they not bone shards last turn? Maybe they're worried about me just reanimating again and getting value. Yeah, they were trying to get the Dothy down and then the turn after they were gonna bone shards the Atraxa and then they would have access to it and it wouldn't be in my graveyard for the nightmare. They were just a mana short of doing it all. We would still would have been fine. 
but you know we would have had to go like Boon Shards or Dothy and reanimate a troll or something, something unexciting. Super greed. I don't, I don't know if it's greeted. I think it's just the the line, you know. Sick. Is this the third finals of the night? Feels like it. To five we go. Sure. Ooh. Are you not the center of the universe? You might not be Fluffy Face. At least not on the on the Caleb DMDG stream. And that's okay. There's multiple universes. I'm sure you're the center of somebody's. Try to make a stupid whale. I kind of hate it. I'm going to be reanimating something that draws cards. I don't have anything that reanimates, though. I'll just make a stupid whale. If this whale also drew cards when it came into play, it'd be pretty sweet. It'd be pretty toit. Time to wake up some waves. On the open sea, there is nowhere to hide. He's Whaley trying his best? He is, yeah. <clears throat> no, my toxic deluge! <laughs> what? What? It's just a 7-7. Seven, seven. <laughs> what is this finals? We mulled the five and made a seven seven. They're just off it. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> Dravian and Lantern, just because they're playing black cards. Brutal to mull aggressively against a discard deck, but. You still want your hand to do something. Hey, this hand does stuff, right? It does stuff. Depending on what they do here, I mean, they're going to run out Jace or D Tutor for Toxic. Yep. So I was planning on demonic tutoring for toxic, but then we drew mystical tutoring. Oh, sure, what up? Hey, Brick Master. Thanks for 39 months. See if this does anything. 39 whole years with Caleb and chat. Hell yeah, Brickmaster. Just 
Survival. <coughs> Bidding Raffalos. Finding a Shadow Grange Arc 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 Fiend. Oh, I see. <coughs> so I attack, and then they madness out the Arc Fiend. Oh, not if they opponent. You're a you're a mana short. Oh no. Well, maybe they have, maybe they've got a reanimation effect for the Shadow Grange. Shadow Grange. I thought they were gonna wait for me to attack with the Archon, and then I discard it, and they from that from the Archon trigger they use the they activate the Manus, or I would just like pass, and they would discard it to the survival. But no, it looks yeah they've got a reanimation effect that gives them a lot of life back too. Pretty good. And they tutored up Vengevine. Yeah, this game's going way better for them. I think I need to run out Ophiomancer here, which is not ideal. The Toxic Deluge uh, kills me, because they've got a Vengevine in the hand. They would just play it and kill me. You could bin Waker of Waves and look for Animate Dead. Could do. Is it tutored up a Yawgmoth? Okay. Sure. Got a chump here. To game three we go. I am feeling good about the Soul Guide Lantern edition. I kinda want dreams in here, huh? They, they used a regular reanimate, right? Kind of looks like we're on some kind of shitty fair play in here. Fair enough. Put in the tar pit so I can activate it next turn. Do I want to troll in the graveyard? Yeah, I suppose I do. That's not bad. It's not bad. The discard spell that they rebought doesn't actually make you discard it, it exiles it. So we couldn't leave a madness payment for Shadow Grange and get to cheat it into play. Like if it was a Thoughtseize. Just animating tar pit and hitting them for seven is pretty good. I could tutor for removal spell for Yogg. I think I'm just supposed to like reanimate troll or some shit. Something. Oh, something, something. Feels like there should be something better, huh? This is worse than reanimating the Waker. Thanks for the words of encouragement, P2 Dissel. But 
Thorn needs more things in play. Oh, they only have three cards in hand. Hmm. How's Yogg been in this iteration? It's pretty good. There's a Ophiomancer, Bit of Blossom. There's a lot of Yogg stuff. Yep. I don't think that's bad. I probably would have made that play um on my last attack step. Well, save a life or whatever. On this turn, I would hit the Doppy with it and set up for some proliferation. Well, that's what they're doing now. Recurring Nightmare. Yeah, I thought for sure they were going to proliferate the Doth theme. Instead of running out the recurring name. Would have played better, huh? The Regret. Maybe they forgot about the, the Yogg proliferation. It's pretty easy to forget about. GG! Yeah, so once again, I'm going to be doing a shorter 4 shower stream tomorrow. Not sure about the start time, but it's going to be within my normal stream stream segment. Get a few drafts in, work some in some way, somehow. And then uh, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, 